Hello and welcome to GrassiMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to solve a probability problem in preparation for the TSI exam. So let's get started. All right, so here it says a six-sided die with sides numbered one, two, three, four, five, six is tossed. So they threw a die. A die is the little uh, cube that you use when you play Monopoly or other board games. And it has numbers on it, right? One through six. We, I think we've all seen one. What is the probability of tossing a number greater than or equal to three? Okay, so out of all the numbers, what are the chances that I'll throw something greater than or equal to three? Okay, so a dice has six sides, so there are six possibilities. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, what we're gonna do for a probability problem like this, you put uh, your total possible outcomes, so the total possibilities goes on the bottom of a fraction. Total possibil possibilities. There we go. I spelled it wrong at first there. Total possibilities. And on the top, you're going to put the possibilities that you actually want. So these are your target possibilities. And then you simplify the fraction and you're done. So we're just going to use this formula for probability. Okay, so what I'm going to do is substitute. I won't put an equal sign because maybe that might not make sense. Uh, let's see. How many possibilities are there? Well, I roll the dice. I could get a 1. I could get a 2. I could get a 3. I could get a 4. I could get a 5. Or I could get a 6. So the total possibilities is going to be the bottom number of my fraction. Let me make sure I'm not writing behind myself here. Uh, I'll put it down here. Six total possibilities when I roll that dice. Now, how many of those are the ones that I want? Well, I look back at my problem and it says a number greater than or equal to three. So greater than three would be these numbers right here. And or equal to means it can also be three. So these numbers are my target numbers. I'm targeting three, four, five, or six. Each one of those would be greater than or equal to three. So how many are those? One, two, three, four. Four out of six. So that's my probability. However, ever since elementary school, they've probably been telling you, you cannot have a fraction and not simplify. So we're going to divide by two and divide by two. And now we have uh, two thirds. Okay. Well, remember, one third, one third, and, and I always teach this to my students, is that one third equals zero point three three and it keeps on going forever and ever and ever. Well, then two-thirds would be twice as much. So two-thirds would be 0 0.6666666. Okay, so now I look at my answer choices, and I can see that that fraction is approximately equivalent. Approximately, whoops, I made a typo here. When I rounded, I should have made it 0 0.67. Okay, so when I round it off, you can see that this 6 uh, is higher than 5, and that means that 0 0.6 will change into 0 0.67. And that should be my final answer. All right, so there you go. You get your total possibilities. You divide by the total, I'm sorry, uh, to solve a probability problem. You get your total number of possibilities, and you put it in the denominator. Then you get your target number of possibilities, and you put it in your numerator. If possible, simplify your fraction. And if you need a decimal answer, convert the fraction to a decimal, and don't be afraid to round if you don't see the exact match. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something today about probability. And don't forget to like and subscribe and visit the website at www.grossymath.com. Have a wonderful day.